First Peter chapter four verse fourteen. Mm. And if ye be reproached for the name of a Mashiach, happy are ye. For the spirit of glory and of God resteth upon you. On their part he is evil spoken of, but on your part he is glorified. <clears throat> But let none of you suffer as a murderer, or as a thief, or as an evildoer, or as a busybody in other men's matters. Yet if any man suffer as a, an anointed one, let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify God on this behalf. Verse 17. For the time is come that judgment must begin at the house of our power, the house of God, and it first began at us. What shall the end of them be that will be not the gospel of our power? And if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and sinner appear? Wherefore, let him that suffer according to the will of our power commit the keeping of their souls to him in well-doing as unto a faithful creator. I want to give all praise and glory to you. However, Shem, Shab, Shem, Mekak, Gosh, Double on to the elders and possible will. Make great millstone to rule well. Peace and sanity of hope elect to the house of Israel. Building the tabernacle of David. The carpenters, I refer to them as. Shalom. Now. The original inspiration of this video comes from my head. <coughs> real, a real on news break. And a real on news break is something similar to a YouTube short or a TikTok. This video was about maybe 10 seconds long at that. But when I saw the video, I begin to think about how many times that we see stupid, weird stuff happening like this all over the world now. People being injured, being around the wrong people at the wrong time, in the wrong frame of mind, doing the wrong things. And all of a sudden, our car or something or a tire flies off of a damn boot. Or a car falls or a car spins out of control and hit a bunch of damn people. And I don't know if anyone in this video died, but I know when they hit these people, and, uh, I don't know if they were drag racing in a parking lot or whatever, I don't know. And cricket, damn. Oh, I hate them crickets. <laughs> I don't know what the case was, but I knew one thing. Some damn pairs of shoes flew up in the air about 15 or 20 damn feet, so you know damn well. It wasn't a tickle, tickle me elbow. Somebody got hurt somewhere. Some got broke. Without further ado, this is a very, very quick video. Hopefully it'll be less than five minutes. I'm waiting for a video that I've just completed to upload so I can listen in on the video because sometimes Yahushua will bring a precept or two to me and I'll get one and then something else will be downloaded into my spirit, into my head and in my mind, and I will forget to go over that scripture, or that scripture will elude my thought until I finish the scripture. So I like to listen to my videos that way. If I need to correct anything that I've said, or I need to post another precept, I can do so on the comment board. So without further ado, I'm going to let this video loop about three to four times, and then we're going to grab. I have four scriptures written down. I just thought of another one. Psalm 1 and 1. And Psalm 1 and 1 in my head always goes with Imaiah of Amos 3 and 3. So we're going to catch these four or five scriptures and the video will be complete. So we have to walk circumspectly. The Bible tells us, um, give me a second. That's Ephesians 5.15. <clears throat> Let's get it while we're here. Ephesians 5.15, the Lord tells us to walk circumspectly. We should be uh, 
wise as serpents, yet harmless as doves. See then that we walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. And when we look up the word circumspect, let's put up in this strong concordance so we can know exactly what we're speaking of. Whenever it comes up. Ephesians 5.15 Oh! Y'all have to forgive me, I'm with the work today, I'm hustle around the job, doing a lot of things that need to be done and nobody don't never want to do. And um, it's just been a long day, but um, I'm very committed to getting these videos out because this is what's going to separate the righteous from the wicked. And this is what's going to set the tone or the pace for how we should govern our actions, our words accordingly, correct? Ephesians 5.15, see then that you walk with circumspect and not as fools, but as wise, as wise, redeeming the times because of these are evil. Wherefore, be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is, and be not drunk with wine wherein excess, but be filled with the Spirit. And that wine is that faith value, but also in the Spirit. Be not drunk with wine. See, we'll be, we'll be drinking and be drinking and be drinking and be drinking. Be drinking of something, of a, of a liquid that is going to consume our mind, cause us to sway differently from the way that we should walk, go, and be. But that wine is also in the spirit of drinking wine. That's fornicating with uh, committing, committing spiritual adultery. Drinking the wine, the knowledge and the understanding of how other people do things of how of doing the things, the way of doing of things that contradict the word. You're not going to be in a good spot if you do so because you're going to be coming against the word. The Lord says, anyone who despised the word also despised me. Why? Psalm 46 and 7, Lord, I come in the bottom of the book. It is written of me as the light do the will of my Father which is in heaven. So if you are going against the teachings, the knowledge of the truth of the Bible, of Yahweh B'Shem Shai, his body, uh, which is his daily, which is your daily bread, from Luke four and four. Guess what? You already in the damn wrong. You're in the wrong spot at the wrong time, in the wrong uniform, in the wrong frame of mind. That might get you got. So be careful how you live. Don't live like fools, but like those who are wise. Make the most of every opportunity in these evil days. Don't act thoughtlessly, but understand what the Lord wants you to do. Don't be drunk with wine, because that will ruin your life. Instead, be filled with the Holy Spirit, singing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs among yourselves, and making music to the Lord in your hearts. Psalm, and that goes along with Psalm 1 and 2, Joshua 1, 8 and 9, meditate on that word day and night. Meditate on that word day and night. Meditate. You're imagining. You're speaking. You're speaking precepts back to the Father, showing Him that you trust in His word and you have confidence and hope in His word, because we are prisoners of hope bound in chains of darkness here upon the earth. Your trust and your faith is in Yahweh Hashem and Rishah. Proverbs three and five: Trust in the Lord with all thy soul, thy heart, and thy mind. In all thy ways acknowledge Him. And he will direct thy path. Without further ado, we're going to, uh, let's also go here, verse 20, and give thanks for everything to God the Father in the name of our Lord, Yahweh Shah Okay. I will bless the name of the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in thy mouth. Those who wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up like eagles with wings. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Isaiah 40, 31. Let's go now. Let's get to the video. I didn't find it. There it is. I'm going to let it look four or five times and we're going to catch. I have four or five scriptures written down. So this is a short one, but this is needed to be said because too often times we be in the wrong place at the wrong damn time. 
and it'd be a still small voice. <laughs> he learned when we were in we were Christians. It'd be a still small voice telling you to you to get D and get behind and get going. But you somehow you wanna keep waiting around. And keep waiting. Oh, I'm just waiting on my cousin to come because you know she had <clears throat> she had take me home a couple times, pick me up a couple times, so she told me to come that she wanna stop this little place here and see this boy, see this guy, not this boy, see this guy and talk to him about five or ten minutes, give her her number and get a bed and they be was gonna go. So I hope she hurt and come on. Well, it's up to you to tell her, hey, I don't mind taking you because you took me to work. You picked me up. But I don't want to really be here very long. I, I give you five or ten minutes to find this guy and do what you need to do and let's go. I do not feel comfortable being here. If you fail to do that and ten minutes turns into an hour, you might be in a bad spot. The Lord says we are redeeming the time before we know the days are evil. Lord is sending judgment down the house of Israel, and it's starting at the house of Israel first. It's actually going to start with those of us who are of the house of Israel that know the truth of these scriptures. So we know, and the Bible says, to know to those who know and do not do, to them it is a sin. So you know you're in the wrong. You know you're not in a good spot. You know you shouldn't be there, and you just lollygag around. You never know what day, what hour, what time, whatever. Yahweh Shemeshah dispatches those spirits of vengeance and they come down on their ass. You'll never know that. Now, if you go to this little spot and you bring somebody there and you shouldn't be there, like it's a club or you're trying to hang out, okay? And, and to be very truly honest with you, sometimes this used to be a downtime for many of us. Before we came in out of the truth, going to a little hangout spot in your neighborhood. Okay, um, not something that we should frequent very often right now. So the, um, Ecclesiastes 7, uh, start the second verse and read the fourth or fifth verse. It's going to talk to you about that. <clears throat> but if you, if you feel a desire to go there for an hour or two, you know, talk with a couple of people you haven't seen in a while, nothing wrong with that. But don't make a damn habit out of it because. Make a habit out of you gonna let your guard down. You're not gonna stay hundred percent committed in these scriptures like you should in these prophecies and not reading like you should because you're gonna be more in tune or giving or reaping or sowing more into the unclean, sowing into the wickedness of the two thirds of the house of Israel. Before you know it, you'll be in a bad spot. You have to be in the ER with your damn foot cut off. And you wonder how in the hell this happened to me. What do you mean? You're going against your harvest and Shah. Hell, you could have been dead. Lord, chastise out of those that he loves. Without further ado, let's skip this video three to four times. We're going to catch a few scriptures. The name of the video is, <clears throat> comes to us from Dirt Diggler. It says, from show off to stupid. <laughs> that causes people shoes flu. Okay, so people soon fly off. Let's begin. Looking at this car, first of all, this appears to be a Porsche <clears throat> or some other high dollar expensive car. <clears throat> it could not be a Porsche, but it, it moves and it sounds like a Porsche. Um, anyway, um, if you notice, when this car went into the crowd of people, there was some braking, but the brake lights were flashing. The brake, the brake lights, it wasn't like he was on the brakes or he was losing control of the car. It seemed to me now, like I could be wrong. It seemed to me as if he burrowed into the crowd of people on purpose. Because like I said, he could have turned the wheel to the right to avoid the people and not even hit the people. 
It seemed to me that if he had gotten on the brakes, the brakes would have been would have been full on, not flashing, you know. And I don't know. Um, didn't sound like a stick, like shifting from first to second gear. So I would have given him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe his foot was going. He was making a decision between uh, the brake and, and the clutch. So I don't think that was the case because it would have sounded like a first shift shifting in the second. It sounded more of an automatic transmission and. Some people out west uh, have it set up where they have a flasher, a flasher um, relay, circuit relay on the brakes. And when they hit the brakes, their car lights flash. I've seen that out west before. <clears throat> and um, But um, he hits a car. People are standing around, okay? The Bible tells us not to be in the way with sinners. Okay, and these people are violating that. Let's catch that video two or three more times. And let's catch it again. Some spitting. <laughs> and the people went flying. Let's get a few scriptures here. Psalm 101. Let's go there. <clears throat> Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way with sinners nor sitteth in the scorched seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord power, and in his law does he meditate day and night. Let's study the word uh, uh, counsel of the wicked. Well, counsel means to make decisions with or stand in the way of advice. Okay, and advice is... Um, where we get the word device from, as in Psalm 64 and 2. That's okay. And the counsel comes from Hebrew. Advice, purpose, counsel, advisement. Okay. Counsel, which, which anyone gives or receives. The use of prediction. To execute a plan of counsel, <clears throat> whom I use as an instrument executing my purpose. Okay. The faculty of forming plans, see number three, right by the orange circle on the screen. Having consulted counsels, let's go back. <clears throat> Real word, Hebrew. To advise, consult, give counsel, purpose, devise, plan. To advise, to conspire, as in conspiracy. To consult together. <clears throat> to give counsel. So you are making decisions with people who are just as wicked as you are, so to speak. You're making decisions with uh, the wicked ones, um, the two-thirds of the house of Israel, because ain't that many jakes will be around no damn Isashua. Might be around the speckled bird, confusion of face, but <laughs> he's like farmers, but nothing more, okay? Let's return back to the scripture. Okay, now, so Amos 3 and 3. Can two walk together and accept they be agreed? Can two people walk together without agreeing on the direction? And let's get a few more. We're at the end of this video. Uh, normally, I was just going to get three three steps and show them consecutively one after the other and then just loop the video and that'll be that. But I felt the need to 
expound on this a little bit. So being led of Yahweh Shem Mashiach, he gives me my thoughts every day. He puts them in my head. He gives me my instructions the next day between the Job 33, verse 14 on down. And Proverbs 20, 24, man's coins of the Lord. How then can he understand his own way? Question mark. Uh, let's get Proverbs 4, 14 as well. <clears throat> Enter not into the path of the wicked and go not in the way of evil men. Avoid it. Pass not by it. Turn from it and pass away. For they sleep not, except they have done mischief in their sleep taken away, unless they cause some to fall. For they eat the bread of the wickedness and drink the wine of violence. But the path of the just is as the shining light that shineth more, that shineth more and more until the perfect day. The way of the wicked is as darkness, which means evil. They know not at what they stumble, so they don't even know that their ass is doing wrong. But they don't believe the law is in effect. So they not only even read the Bible and look for and for is a law. It says, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out the mouth of the most high. So man live. Revelation 1, 3, blessed he that readeth and keepeth all that's contained in this letter of prophecy. My sin, attend to my words and incline thine ear to my sayings. Let's get on Proverbs uh, 13 and 20. And then we we'll Proverbs 13 and 20. Um, <laughs> um, this is not where I was headed. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. I will cover it as well. Thank you, Yahweh. <clears throat> Let's my son, Proverbs twenty three fifteen. My son, if thine heart be wise, my heart shall rejoice, even mine. Yea, my reign shall rejoice when thy lips speaketh right things. And that goes along with precept Ephesians four twenty nine. Do not let any corrupt communication proceed out of thy mouth. Okay. Um, you can read that scripture on continuing this page. Let's let's get it now. We'll come back. Ephesians 4.29, because we know that Yahweh Bishim Rashad is going to judge us for everything that comes out of our mouth, every idle word that proceeds out of our mouth. The word idle means we're not laboring in this truth. So let's get it here. Ephesians 4.29. And it reads, Let no corrupt communication proceed out of the mouth, but that which is good to the use of edifying that it may minister grace unto the hearers. So that's why it says, um, um, we should be judged for every idle word that proceeds out of your mouth. The word idle means we're not edifying. We're not edifying its hearers. The Lord says, do not be a hearer of the word, but be a doer. Okay. So, and I believe that Psalm James 122 tells us that. And grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby ye are sealed into the day of redemption. Okay, so let's go back. Our next scripture here. I believe it's a Proverbs, uh, what is it, Proverbs 30, Proverbs 23 and 20, right, I think. Let's get it. No. Um, <clears throat> Proverbs 23, and I know Proverbs has 31 chapters. I think it was 10 first, I think. Anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Let's start at 16 on the New Living Translation, which is on the right hand side of your screen. Let's start at 15. My child, if your heart, which is your mind, if your heart is wise, my own heart will rejoice. Everything in me will celebrate when you speak what is right. Don't, don't envy sinners, but always continue to fear the Lord power. You will be rewarded for this. Your hope will not be disappointed, my child. Listen and be wise. Keep your heart on the right course. Keep your mind on the right path. Matthew 7.13 tells us what? Enter ye into the street gate. 
For broad and wide is the road that leads to destruction, and there be many that find it and are destroyed. Okay. So entering the straight gate. What's the straight gate? Going down the center of this word and doing as the word is commanded you to do. So you have to go and continue to read and study to learn the commandments and also read and study to learn the, the mind state of the prophets and what was important to them should also be important to you because that's what's important to the Lord. The Lord says, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. He said, I, he abides in me and I abide in you. Open the door and I will come in and I will sup with you. The word sup is short for supplant. The name Yaquab, Jacob Yaquab in Hebrew means to supplant. Let's continue. My verse 19, my child, listen and be wise. Keep your heart on the right course. Do not carouse with drunkards or feast with gluttons. Because for the one, if you always around the sinners in the two thirds house of Israel, pretty soon you might find yourself falling out of the truth. And next thing you know, you will have returned back to where you were before you woke up. Back where? With the damn sinners and the drunkards and the gluttons. You'd be back in the same damn spot you was in before you came to knowledge and truth, which was a way out of this mess. Do not, verse 20, do not carouse with the drunkards or feast with gluttons, for they are on their way to poverty, and too much sleep closes Clothes them in rags. And that sleep is what? Too much sleep clothes them in rags. Now the Bible says our righteousness are like filthy rags, yes. But too much sleep. Sleep is being idle. Not doing what you have been commanded to do now that the Lord has opened your eyes to the knowledge of this truth. So you want to go back to damn sleep. You go back to sleep. The Lord says that he has put a spirit of sleep and slumber upon this people. Eyes that they see yet cannot see, ears that they hear, but they cannot hear, nor do they understand. And that's going to be your downfall. That's going to be that's going to be a pathway to the grave for you. So, try to stay on point. Verse 23. No, let's go to 22. Listen to your father who gave you life, and don't despise your mother when she is old. Get the truth and never sell it. Also get wisdom, discipline, and good judgment. Okay? The uh, left-hand side of the screen, King James Version. Hearken unto thy father that begot thee. Who is that? That's I was I. Isaiah 9 and 6. Okay? And despise not thy mother when she is old. Um, what is despise not thy mother? The mother. A mother's instruction, instruction to a mother to train up a child in the way that he should go. When he's old, he will not depart. So that's the law, statutes, commandments, and ordinances of Yahweh by Shem Shah, John 14. If you love me, keep my commandments. But the truth, by the truth and sell it not, also wisdom. And by means to redeem, okay? Redeem the truth, okay? Sow into it. You read what you sow. Study it. Um, um, keep her by your side. Keep her with you at all times. Okay. Buy the truth, redeem the truth, and sell it not. Or purchase the truth, acquire it. Also, wisdom and instruction and understanding. The father of the righteous shall great ready to rejoice, and he that begetteth a wise child shall have joy of him. Thy father and thy mother shall be glad. And she that bare thee shall rejoice, my son, give me thine heart, and let thine eyes observe my ways. Give me your heart, which is your mind, and let my eyes preserve thy ways, okay? My son, give me thine heart, and let thine eyes observe my ways. Let your eyes preserve your ways. But the Havashim is also tells us in Psalm 91 and 12. Let's get it right quick. We are at the end of this video. Give me just a second. Psalm 91 11. The Lord says, um, but he will order his angels to protect you wherever you go. And who are the eyes of the Lord? Proverbs 16 and 9. Let's get it. Mm -hmm. 
The eyes of the Lord search the whole earth. The Lord says, strengthen those whose hearts are fully committed to him. What a fool you have been. From now on, you will be at war. You see there? For the eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout the whole earth to show himself strong in behalf of them whose heart is perfect toward him. Herein you have done foolishly. Therefore, from henceforth you shall have wars. Let's go back. Let's get one more precept in that second Corinthians uh six second Corinthians six and four. And we're gonna close out. In everything we do, we show that we are truly ministers of God. We patiently endure troubles and hardships and calamities of every kind. We have been beaten been put in prison, faced angry mobs, worked to exhaustion, endured sleepless nights, and gone without food. We prove ourselves by our purity, by our understanding, and our patience and kindness by the Holy Spirit within us, and by our sincere love. We faithfully preach the truth by His powers working in us. We use the weapons of righteousness in the right hand for attack and the left hand for defense. We serve our power whether people honor us or despise us, whether they slander us or praise us. We are honest, but they call us imposters. We are ignored even though we are well known. We live close to death, but we are still alive. We have been beaten, but we have not been killed. I want to give all praise and glory to you all. Peace and strength, strength, conquer, die, struggle, and to the others, and possibly make their name move well. Peace and salutations so for the the house of Israel. Let's get one more precept which I had written down. That's Proverbs 13 and 20. And we're going to close out. So we must walk circumspectly pursuant to Ephesians 5, 15. Remember the Bible tells you that 1 Peter 5, 8, be sober, be vigilant. For your adversary, the devil, roam to and fro like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. And that's roughly paraphrasing, because that's a thought of the scripture, but it may not be in that particular order. Okay, let's get there. Proverbs 13, 10. He that walketh with wise men shall be wise, but a companion of fools shall be destroyed. Evil pursueth sinners, but to the righteous good shall be repaid. A good man leaveth an inheritance to his children's children, and the wealth of the sinner is laid up for the just. He says, walk with the wise and become wise, associate with fools and get in trouble. That's what it says there on the left hand, right hand side of the screen. Let's bring it up. I like it. These are commandments. <laughs> walk with the wise and become wise. Associate with fools and get in trouble. Trouble chases sinners while blessings <laughs> reward the righteous. <laughs> Good people leave inheritance to their grandchildren, but the, the sinner's wealth passes to the godly. Again, I hope this is an edifying soul. The Bible tells you we're going to close out like this here. Psalm 119.04. I spoke this scripture earlier today and earlier this evening. But I'm here to tell you. Psalm 119.104. Through thy precepts I gain understanding, therefore I hate every false faith. Do you live in translation? Your commandments give me understanding. No wonder I hate every false way. Your word is a lamp to guide my feet, a light to my path. I promise it once, and I promise it again. I will obey your righteous regulations. I have suffered much, O Lord, power. Restore my life again as you have promised. Until the next uh, video, I'm very, very sleepy. I'm very tired. I have to be to work in the morning shortly before midday. Um, I want to get a little bit of reading done tonight. I don't know. I might just turn in. 
This is almost 2.35 in the morning Eastern Standard Time. And a weekend earlier than I had planned and get my reading in. So again, I want to give all praise on the Guru to Yahweh, Bashim Yashab, Bashim Kakudash, Dovon, to the other possibly missed on the Guru. Well, peace is that day, so for building the house of Israel. Shalom.